fat head room. I'm talking the fat head room. <laughs> now, first of all, I made a shitload of videos and you can see my face in every video. I'm more realer than you could ever be. I'm what your father wanted to be when he grew up. So let me go back to the beginning of what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if you have the opportunity to speak to people, instead of bashing people, you need to look right in the camera and tell people who you are, which you do. I never once said you didn't do that. I never once said I didn't like it, but I didn't say you was the best I've heard. But, young man, let me rewind you some. With experience comes knowledge. Why should the fuck should I listen to some gringo, some wet behind the ears child when you can't help me? So you talk about the people in our military as if they should just be shot out because they're stupid? You know, somebody fighting for your freedoms in this country has got to be a stupid? Yeah, they are stupid for fighting for your big, fat, dumpy, dumb ass. They are dumb. Because if they knew who the fuck you were and can decide who to fight for and there's a list before you go on the battlefield and all the names on the list and they come to your name, I'm not fighting for that sorry ass motherfucker. You know why? Because when the shit comes down to it, the fat boy gonna run off and fucking hide with your coke bottle lenses on talking shit. You can fucking run and hide. But if somebody's overseas dying for your dumb ass to have some little bit of freedom that we got left in this country, who's the fucking fool here? Who's the goddamn dummy? Somebody who went to the military or somebody's hiding from the, the commitment of trying to stand up for what's right in this country? You can say what the fuck you want to say and it might not mean nothing because it doesn't mean anything to you or anyone else who listens to you. You have to have a simple mind to run in the track in which you run in. Now talking about YouTube gangs and clicks, I'm not in a clique or a gang with anybody in YouTube. The people who listen to me listen to me because I tell the truth. I'm not going to fucking say anything bad about the troops because they're over there fighting for fucking me. And if they're fucking here right now, your troops will be here fighting for me here. But you don't understand that shit because you're too big and dumpy trying to worry about the next time you're going to get a Taco Bell in your stomach and shit. You big fat round son of a bitch. Let me tell you something about how life is up at this motherfucker. And this motherfucker is boys and girls, men and children, dying and struggling and shit. We're trying to have freedom up in this son of a bitch. And what the fuck you doing? You sitting back talking about our troops. When they come home, they're going to single out somebody like you. And while you're getting your ass raped, fucked in jail and shit behind some old dumbass bullshit, these guys going to say, you know what? I remember him from the internet. Fuck him. Let him go. That's how shit is. You make your fucking team now. You play through the game. And if you can't play through the game, then you're on the sidelines and fat boy. And I'm saying you're fat because, come on, man. You try to project your voice in which you know what you're fucking saying. Oh, I'm going to sound philosophical and use a little Jedi voice trick. You can't use the voice trick because you have nothing to use in your voice. You have no content behind what you're fucking saying. You got thousands of boys and girls, black, white, Mexican, whatever fucking color it is, overseas fighting. They might be fighting in some old bullshit war for whatever bullshit reason, but these are still your fucking people. And if they were here on the streets right now and some shit went down on the streets, those same people over there dying for nothing would be over here dying so your big dumpy ass would be able to go out and get another fucking Twinkie. But you're not understanding that shit. You wanna say something bad about our troops? How American are you? Huh, are you Canadian and you just got the American flag up in the fucking corner? What is your fucking deal? What are you? You're nothing. You know why you're nothing? Because you are you and I am me. I'm not talking about Father Judgment as if he's God. Father who? Father Judgment. And when you listen to older people, you hear a side of the story that you couldn't even tell your fucking self. But you have no respect for older people even to listen to the story to disagree with them. How can you disagree with somebody if you can't even speak on the same level with that person? You should just shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. And as far as coming at me showing my faces why don't you look at give them a face that might right there help you figure out who the fuck you are you one of those fucking haters who just got a fucking camera and you think people are gonna listen to you you think people are gonna understand where you're coming from no one will understand where you're coming from as long as you're bashing someone who's talking on the same subject than what you're speaking on did you understand that big boy i don't think so let me rephrase myself and speak a little bit slower now that I've completely changed the tone. This is something that you might want to try to do when you want to get people to listen to you. I'm going to say this in a way that's not so aggressive. You are an imbecile. And you are fooled for one reason and one reason only. If you were overseas fighting in a war, regardless of why you're there, you don't want to hear people, your people, saying that you're a fool and a dummy. Why? 
because in 10 years from now, when the war is in the streets of America, these people will be at home. And they will be out in the middle of the streets to make sure that we still have the little bit of freedom that we have left. These are the people that's going to die in the streets of America because they've already risked their lives to die overseas. These are the people who are going to stick their neck out so your big fat ass can go get something else to fucking eat. These are the people that are making sure that we have some what some kind of liberties I mean, we have nothing left and you're going to bash the only people trying to make sure we can have a little bit of something our country might be sending them overseas just to die but you don't have the right to call them stupid dumb you don't have the right to bash anybody that's been in a war or tried to fight for this country you don't have the balls in your sack to stand up behind what you can fucking say so you put your camera on, and this obviously is the shittiest video you've ever made. The quality sucks so bad, I'm thinking you're sucking. But hey, I can only tell from my perspective, and I can only speak on what I see. I have three minutes and 50 seconds to get my point across, and I think I've already done it. In order for you to grow up and be a man, you must see the struggles that other men have put forth before you. Now, if you can't see the struggles that these men and our military and these women and our military have put forth, so we can have what little that we got so we can continue to think that we're free if you can't sit back and stand there and say you know what I love you for dying for me knowing that you wouldn't do shit for anybody else other than your goddamn self if your mother was on the side of a fucking cliff you think about am I gonna be in the wheel if you fall please go back to your dormitory and sit back and write something fucking down Write a speech and sit up before you can stand up because you cannot stand up to someone like me. I may only be 5'4", but I overtower you. I tower you, boy. Boy, you're like me looking at an ant right now. You're so minuscule in your thoughts that it's pitiful. Grow up, baby. I don't want to have to change your diaper again. You say something foul one time, shame on me. If you say something foul again, I'll have to break you down in a manner to where you might have to shut your fat ass down. No, you might have to shut your fat ass down because I'm not only going to hurt your feelings, I'm going to make everyone that watches you reevaluate what the fuck they're paying attention to because I have the power to do that because I am not you. And let me tell you something, baby boy. You've been tubed. Oh. Let me show you my face. You see that? You see this? This is what a man looks like. Tell your father to look at this. Maybe you can teach your little brothers how to be a man. Thank you. Have a nice day. And fuck you later. That's how you feel about the troops. So fuck you. You think they should go out and be shot in the head? So fuck you. You think that your life is so fucking easy because the way your parents got it for you, so fuck you. And if you don't believe that I'm a true American, hey, fuck you. Oh yeah, by the way, did I tell you to fuck your mama? No, I don't want to say that because she might be a better person than your father is. She's letting you stay in her basement still. You know what I'm saying? Goodbye. Tell your sister I said hi.